Okay, the first question that's on everybody's mind is, Slim Kirby, how do you record your videos? Well, I'm not going to go into a giant history on how Slim Kirby has recorded videos, because I have recorded in several different ways. Uh, the most often way I record, though, is by using a little device called a Dazzle Video Converter, uh, also known as the Dazzle Capture Card. Uh, with a capture card, you can hook up it to uh, your computer uh, via the USB ports. And then on the actual capture card itself, you have small little plugins where you could hook in audio and video cables. So like the, you know, the yellow, white, red cables that you usually see with like video game systems and other TV accessories and stuff like that. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And then also, like, there's also an S-Video port. I don't use that, though. Um, what you do then is you can hook your system up to the device and then go on your computer. And if you have a movie-making program, you can usually capture directly from the capture card. Uh, sometimes you'll be given a preview window, and you can see what you're recording. And that's how I used to do stuff. I used to just, like, hook my, my, uh, my systems up to it. And then I just go to like movie Windows Movie Maker and then capture and then I just play the game right there. And then I'd use another program like Audacity or just any other mic recording program so I could record the commentary while I play. And then after I record both, it's just a matter of importing the commentary audio and possibly the video itself into the same program and putting them both together and then finalizing the movie and then uploading to YouTube. That's all it takes. Um, about the Dazzle, though, uh, there is a way you can rig it if you have enough wires, if your TV has the right uh, ports. And even then, you can also find another way to rig it if you don't have the correct ports. Um, you can also make it so while you're recording through the Dazzle device, you can also watch what you're recording on your television screen. Uh, it requires usually a way a video output or a video and audio output on your TV and the TV I have right now doesn't have that but with uh, audio video splitters uh, you can actually kind of still rig it so even if you don't have video output you can still record from your TV screen now I would go into more detail on how that works but instead I'm actually going to give you a video in the video description uh, it's a very helpful video and tutorial. I used it a lot when I was trying to set up my current recording studio, I guess you could say. It's very helpful, and if you're really interested in getting a Dazzle capture device, uh, that video will definitely help you on how to set it up and how it works. Uh, for those of you interested, as far as price is concerned, um, usually you can just find them for like 50 bucks at Best Buy. They might be a little uh, less expensive now. And then you can also find some devices that are worth more, uh, but they, those usually have just more features that uh, normally you probably wouldn't need uh, to do what I do. Um, you can just do a little search on Best Buy and look at all the features and stuff. Uh, Dazzle usually also, uh, when they're making their versions, they also set them up by color as well. So if you need any help, I'm using the red Dazzle device. So if you want to know what I'm actually using myself. But uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, just check out that other video. I'm not the best person to talk to when it comes to real technical stuff like that. I just kind of follow what other people do, and then I just, you know, just make it so I have that as well. Uh, another way I record is by using a, a screen recording program, a screen capture program, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for screen capture, there's only one major project I've used it for, and that is for the maze game. And I've also used it a few times for, like, special videos I made. Definitely spent a lot of time with screen capture for my 1,000th video spectacular I made back in March or April. That helped me a lot during that. Um, I used a program called Camtasia. Camtasia is a movie making program you can download from online. Um, you can download a free trial, a free 30 day trial that allows you to use the program free for 30 days. Or you can also download the full version if you have the activation key or the password or whatever. 
Uh, I'm not going to give you guys the password because that would be kind of illegal. But if you're really interested in finding that password so you can have the full version, uh, just look online. I'm sure there's a bunch of people who give out the code for free. There might even be a few YouTube videos of people who give out the key because, you know, it's such a it's a big thing that YouTube would even have tutorials on how to get it. So if you really want the full version for free, definitely recommend maybe doing a Google search or something. But I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Uh, there's also a few other capturing programs you could use, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know all of them. Those are the only two methods I've really experienced with. But uh, you're willing to do whatever you want on the matter. So uh, I think that about does it for this question. Uh, some other people want to know, what programs do you think are good for Let's Playing? Well, in the course of my YouTube career, I've only used three movie-making programs. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, uh, Pinnacle Studio, and Camtasia Studio. So I'm just going to go through each of the programs and give my opinion on it. And then if it's going to be a good program to do uh, Let's Plays for. Uh, first thing is uh, Windows Movie Maker. It's probably the easiest to find, especially if you have a Windows computer. If you have a Mac, you might be out of luck. Uh, for Windows Movie Maker, it's a very simple program, easy to use, easy to figure out. The only problem with Windows Movie Maker is it crashes a lot, and a lot of people don't like that. Unfortunately, though, I think it's probably the best program if you're lucky to use it effectively. Uh, it can capture from a a uh, Dazzle capture device. It does not have screen capture, but it still has a lot of easy functions and makes it a very good program. In fact, um, when I record from other programs, I actually uh, import the video files to Movie Maker just so I can use all the other easy functions. The only problem I have with Movie Maker on my laptop is the fact that it can't capture anything. But usually if you have a pretty steady computer and not a laptop, Usually you should be able to capture with no problem. Uh, next is Pinnacle Studio. Pinnacle Studio actually comes with a Dazzle Capture Card if you purchase it. Um, it's a very good program. Uh, you can pretty much do everything you would normally be able to do with Windows Movie Maker. It's just Pinnacle Systems. Uh, definitely a lot more stable than Movie Maker, but I'd say Movie Maker still beats it in like functions and functionality and easy to use benefits. But uh, generally, though, if you want to use those functions of Movie Maker, you can just record from Pinnacle and then import into Movie Maker after you're finished recording because the two programs are completely compatible. Um, as for capturing footage, it, it does a lot of good. It, it, it works well. That's actually what I use now since uh, Movie Maker doesn't really work with me that much. Um, but yeah, uh, the only problems I usually have is that at a certain point it just stops recording and then if you're using a laptop make sure you uh, get rid of a lot of your computer space that you're not using because it will also lag a lot like computer lag and the recording might even lag as well so be careful when you're using that and make sure you have plenty of space on your computer uh... last program is Camtasia I really only recommend Camtasia for screen recording. Uh, you can't really capture uh, using a capture card from it because whenever I try to use my capture card with Camtasia, it doesn't record the audio. That's one of the problems I had with my Pikmin Let's Play for the longest time. And in fact, I still have that problem. I can't figure out how to get audio to work properly on that. But as far as screen capture goes, it still works pretty well. Uh, make sure that you um, pick the correct sizing options for when you're screen recording. And make sure you also pick a, um, a non-watermark uh, looking recording setup like AVI. Because sometimes if you pick like a not so compatible file type, uh, your videos will look very choppy and very like pixely. So make sure you pick the correct setup for that. So overall, of those three programs, I would recommend Windows Movie Maker the most, especially if you're a beginner. Just be aware that it crashes. Pinnacle Studio is also pretty good. And Camtasia, good for screen recording, but as for a program in general, it kind of lacks. So uh, that's uh, as far as my programs are concerned. I've also actually used iMovie for some of my um, uh, late 
uh, bad quality Let's Plays like Donkey Kong 64, Mario Party 2, the old version, which isn't up on YouTube anymore, uh, Brawl Customs, and for half of my Yoshi's Island walkthrough. Um, there might be a Dazzle device that's compatible for Macs, but uh, I've heard some complaints from other Mac users, and uh, it doesn't work that well. And then I just hear that iMovie is really a terrible program anyway, so... If you have a Mac, you might be out of luck as far as information you can get from me. But I'm sure there's someone who has perfected uh, the use of iMovie. But that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, thanks for watching.